This is our second version, new and improved ECG heart rate monitor thing. So we can take a look at it down here. It's just as beautiful as always. Now we've got some user interface here. We've got some buttons. We've got a switch on there. So let's uh, power on the battery here. And I'll just show you what that was. You saw that beautiful little heart flash up. That's our you know, awesome logo. Very important. Okay, so the options we got here, um, probably the most interesting to start with is taking a new trace. So a new heart rate trace is what we're doing. So put my fingers on here, wait for it to stabilize. And eventually we'll see it start to read my heart rate there. Okay, so you can see, once again, my strange inverted heart rate, but it's reading it very well now. Um, it's showing the average up in the top left. Uh, I went to the gym about an hour ago, so I have a rather high heart rate that hasn't come down, which is kind of surprising, but it's giving good reading, so that's nice. So it will take uh, 30 seconds of data here, and then it will show us um, an analysis of, of the trace. So I'll we'll wait for that to happen, and you might be able to see on the screen there, it's uh, when it detects a heartbeat, it's changing the color of the graph line to white from green. So now here we have our analysis. Um, the things we can see here, if it will focus properly, which, there we go. Okay, we've got the average heart rate, we've got the standard deviation of the heart rate, those are both in beats per minute, of course. And um, then we have a few possible conditions that someone might have. So bradycardia is um, an unusually slow heart rate, like around you know 50 beats or less. Uh, tachycardia is an unusually high heart rate, so you know above 100 or 110. I don't remember which we used. Uh, so of course, since you know my heart rate's high right now, it's showing low severity of that. And finally, we have irregularity, which is just you know if if you're Heartbeats aren't kind of in a, are kind of spaced out more than they should be. So here I have, a, and that's based off the standard deviation. So the standard deviation here is seven, which is in an acceptable range. Um, all right. So then, actually, one of the cool things here, you'll see now, there's kind of page numbers down here, and you can scroll back through uh, the, the file here to kind of look at the history of it. And as we go all the way back to the analysis page, you can do that. And then if I flip the switch here, we'll take us back to the main menu. So once again, I can return to that trace by saying show selected trace, um, and I can flip through again. Alternatively, I can um, select a different file, or sorry, select a different trace from file since we are logging these uh, traces to the SD card up there. So here's a list of all the different log files that are on here currently. Um, so let's just load up number five here. I'll load pretty quickly, and then we can go back up to show the selected trace and you know, view through any of these and see the analysis, etc. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and take CSE 466 at UW. Yeah.